Hello, my name's Adela. And my name's Carmen. And what we have here is a replica of Anne Louis Giraudet's Burial of Atala from 1808. Its medium is oil on canvas. When I first saw this painting, I saw the symbols of religion. This first symbol is the cross in the sky, and with the light focusing straight to Atala, which is the main character, um, it really caught my eye because at first I didn't notice this cross right away until I really focused and paid attention. And the second cross that I found was this shovel. Uh, at first I didn't realize the cross shape it had, but the nail across it makes it a cross, and it is symbolized in the darkness here next to the hole for her burial. And lastly, we have this third cross that she is holding with her, which will be buried, as in she will take religion to her even after death. The constant representation of crosses throughout the painting show a direct connection to religion. My opinion of this painting before any research was that there was a definite story behind it, and not just an average self-portrait of anybody. What caught my attention was Atala, of course, because of her contrasting colors compared to the rest of the painting. Also, the love the warrior is showing by the strong, affectionate hold he has on her and not wanting to let her go. The older man on the right, I figured, was her father, but not sure, and they were burying her in a cave to keep her hidden. What I also noticed, Adela, is that the painting stands out to me mostly by the color. Especially with the man on the right. If you notice, he has a lot of dark hues and browns in his coat, which stand out because the girl that he's holding is very white and she's also glowing due to the yellow tints in her skin. And your eye kind of travels over to the man on the left. He has a lot of yellows, orange, and red hues in his skin. It kind of looks like he's on fire. What I also notice is the darkness in the background. I especially like the dark greens in the trees and how the light that's in the middle towards the top specifies on Atala. As you can see in the corner, there's a cross and the yellow light from the sky that leads outside of the cave kind of flows inward and transcends onto Atella's body and you can see the shadows underneath her dress and also the creases within it that make the contrast so bright. Not only does this um, fascinate me but I'm also interested in the story behind this painting. Adela was also interested by her observation of the man holding onto the woman and the other man grabbing onto her for like he is in love with her. Um, what I noticed was was that the story is actually based on a romance novel about a girl named Atala. Atala is half European and half Native American. She promised her mother at her deathbed that she would keep her chastity. But that all changed when she fell in love with this man on the left hand side who is a native warrior. Atala was so upset that she did not keep her promise to her mother that she drank some poison and committed suicide. The man on the right hand side is actually a Christian priest and what the Christian priest is actually doing, he's helping bury Atala to her grave. It seems that the warrior on the left hand side doesn't want to let go of her because he has fallen so deeply in love that he can't seem to let her move on into the heavens. So Giraudet's painting exemplifies the religious qualities of Christianity and we get a sense that this painting has a lot of emotional quality due to the form and body position of the man who is in love with Attila and Giraudet's painting reminds me of something else that I've seen. It's called the... Giraudet's painting reminds me of... The Sleep of Edamarin from 1791. Really, Adela? How so? Well, first of all, the lighting contrast in both these pictures are very similar. How? Well, they both are in contrast to the very dark backgrounds in this picture. 
um, from 1791, we have the contrast of colors between the leaves and the light. And then in the other picture, we have the contrast between the cave and the light from the sky. Oh, I see it. It's kind of like the darks and lights in the other painting, how the sky was pretty light and the tr light from the crosses kind of transcended onto Attila, just like this light in the sky is kind of glowing onto the man's skin. Yeah, which makes both of the central objects of these paintings stand out even more. But another thing that I noticed that there were at least two other objects in Giraudet's painting. So this one, um, for example, you can see the angel on the left hand side. He looks like he's really interested in the man who is falling in a sleepy kind of pose. And in Giraudet's painting, you have the man who is gripping on to Atala and another man who is holding her while she Speaking is of going people, to be buried. Also, the way in which Girodes paints these and how he naturalizes the bodies, very detailed, very expressive of the muscles. I would agree that there is expression in the body, but maybe not so the muscles. It looks more idealized. I can't really tell that there's too much muscle tone because the body is perceived to be this perfect, smooth piece of flesh. But in all reality, not everyone's skin is as smooth or as pale as this painting depicts it. I see what you mean about being, the bodies being expressed, but we both can agree that there's a certain way that Giraudet paints his paintings. There is a contrast of colors between lightness and darkness, and there is a certain role that can be, that is depicted maybe? You can tell there's a story definitely in this picture and in the one that we talked about earlier, the sleep of... And in my end. <laughs> Yeah, I always forget that name. <laughs> but I think it's pretty interesting, and I like how the richness of color catches your eye, just like the sleeping of... Endermine. Endermine. Yes, <laughs> of course. Um, any last minute thoughts? I just think I like Garaday's habit of painting. Yes, it looks like you put a lot of time and effort into this, um, which is greatly appreciated.